U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is back in Israel for more talks. After discussing the Israel-Hamas war with regional leaders in West Asia, he also held talks with the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the escalating conflict. This is a top U.S. diplomat's second trip to Israel in just a week. During the visit, Blinken reaffirmed America's support for Israel to defend itself from Hamas, as well as the willingness of the U.S. to aid the country. We're determined to stand with and for innocent civilians who suffer primarily as a consequence of what Hamas has done on all sides. Uh, we come to work together as well to ensure that this uh, crisis, this conflict doesn't spread to other places. Uh, and we come to think together about a, a way forward uh, for everyone in the region. Since 12th of September, Blinken has visited Qatar, Bahrain. Actually, that is since the 12th of October. Blinken has visited Qatar, Bahrain, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, and Egypt. In what reports have called a last ditch attempt to reduce the impact of a potentially catastrophic all out Israeli land assault on Gaza. Meanwhile, the American President Joe Biden has warned Israel against occupying Gaza in one of his most notable public calls for restraint. Biden said that any move by Israel to occupy the Gaza Strip again will be a big mistake as Israelis respond to this month's terror attacks by Hamas. I think it'd be a big mistake. Look, what happened in Gaza, in my view, is Hamas and the extreme elements of Hamas don't represent all the Palestinian people. And uh, I think that uh, it would be a mistake to, uh, for Israel to occupy Gaza again. We did, but to going in and taking out the, uh, the extremists, the uh, Hezbollah is up north, but Hamas down south is a necessary requirement. The comments made by the American president amount to one of the few times he has called on Israel to use some sort of restraint in responding to the Hamas attacks. Despite sending warning Israel to take restraints, the U.S. has pledged full support, which is unconditional. American warships have arrived in Israel, so have aircraft and reportedly $2 billion worth of munitions. Along with the United States, other Western allies have said they will support Israel as it prosecutes what Israeli leaders say will be a prolonged war. You know, when I spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning... We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.